Netflix has officially launched their ad tier. You still have to pay money, but you have to watch ads. And I looked into it. I was like, okay, what, what does that mean? So have, there's like pre, mid roll, like about four to five minutes of ads in between of everything, right? They expect like about four to five minutes of ads every hour, which is crazy to me, right? They, uh, they're going ad tier, but turns out Disney's also going ad tier because even Disney, like all these companies are losing money left there and center. Even though Disney is peaking or topping with 235 global subscribers, they still are losing $1.5 billion, which is insane to me. Where, like, if you're thinking of a streaming service, YouTube is number one. YouTube is free, serves ads, and people make content for them. And all they have to do is kind of manage everything, manage the community. While these guys have to take care of, like, actually producing a real show, having a good show, and hope it hits, and hope people come in to pay to stay in, right? Which is just, no one want, no one really wants to do that anymore, right? It's like reverting back to TV, and the things I was talking about has been um, coming to fruition where HBO Max has teamed up with Warner Bros. Discovery as well to launch your own streaming service together. But yeah, a lot of... Um, a lot of companies might be going down this route of selling ads, kind of like back then TV, and they'll be bidding for ads. For marketers, that kind of means, for business and marketers, that kind of means like if a show is really popping off, you are expected to pay more for per CPM, which is like cost per mile, cost per mileage or whatever, which basically means how much times your ad is shown in front of like a per thousand people usually, right? And so... Yeah, I think that's when go towards like a bidding, a way to bid for ads, right? Onto the systems. And which leads to my next thing. Okay, I'm making a big prediction, a bold prediction. All right, guys, I'm making a prediction maybe like five, ten years from now. Because this technology has been around for the last five years. But I am thinking that this has been trending forward, right? Where it's like an interactive ad interactive videos interactive instagram posts you might have already seen on instagram where you can tap on the picture and it takes you straight to the store page a lot more businesses are picking this up so you might soon come up to netflix ad tier they pay for the ad and they make an interactive ad if you see something you might like in the show like a coca-cola or like a jacket or something that you want to buy or merch you want to buy they might advertise that to you and you can actually just click on that from your phone and just click on it and hop right out and just buy it, which is kind of crazy, right? This is kind of like my prediction because it has been proven, uh, at least the statistics that I looked into, it had, looks like it's been going up and up. It's like a slow drive right now, but it seems like he's been getting a lot of positive feedback. So I don't know, maybe five, 10 years from now, even sooner maybe, that interactive ads and pictures might be uh, really become a thing uh, for and streaming services to make to kind of drive a little bit extra revenue right and this is what i was talking about where most advertisers are actually backing away from the market right now because of recession Jesus. yes <laughs> right so a lot of marketers are backing away from it a lot of marketers actually when i looked into it are apparently feeling like they're a lot of them are backing out right not backing up but waiting and see to see how this goes because no one really knows how the ad tier system is going to play out in the business world, right? Is it going to do well? Is it going to be negative, positive feedback? No one really knows. Uh, a couple people already jumped on it and they nearly sold out all the ad space. But uh, it'd be interesting to see how this folds out for all um, advertisers.